all right welcome back to another city piler in freetown um today we're going to go visit abraham kamara 11 year old young man who is in uh, freetown sierra leone goes to services uh, junior secondary gss1 Mr. Kamara likes to play football, and, and as, as we go on, we're going to explore um, his house, his environment, and to see how he's living. And we're just arriving now, me and my team. Um, the gentleman to the right of me is actually the guardian. Of Mr. Kamara, that's uh, his uncle. I'm just having a conversation with him. The initial statement, um, brief introduction of when I go to meet um, this um, students, um, parents, and guardians. You know, just explaining to them again the same old routine: what we are there, what we are doing, um, what we are trying to accomplish with the nonprofit uh, organization. So this guy right here lives. Yeah. with this kid you know this is it's not his kid live is uh his nephew yes right now he's helping to take care of him you know that's just how africans um how africans how we do sometimes you know sometimes you gotta take care of uh, a whole village so you know it, it, as a saying in a village a child is probably being raised by everyone in the village, you know, so and he's just playing his part, helping with his sister or brother's son. All right, so we made it to the house. Going to have a, this is one of the first interviews, and the gentleman that's going to be sitting right to the left of me, his name is Mohammed Brimer. He was very, very helpful, very instrumental in, uh, in, with the organization as well. I really, really appreciated his um, his an analytics, his um, you know a lot of his inputs on some of the decisions we made. Because obviously he's a lot experienced with the environment. I'm explaining to him again um, expectations of what I'm expecting for us to accomplish. Because he was working with me, he is he's part of the organization. Mohammed Brimer, um, so I really appreciate him, and he, he in the very beginning, he was there with me. So here comes um, Ibrahim Kamara. So just introducing, I'm, I'm, I'm cracking some jokes. <laughs> Said he went, he went to the beach for the holidays. I asked him what he did for Christmas, New Year's. He said he went to the beach. I told him I went to the beach too, um, as I was there visiting with this um, organization. But I also went um, to hang out for the holidays. At the, you know, it's it's a very well-known thing to do in Sierra Leone is to go to the beach on the holidays. So, but I, you know, I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm really radiating. Um, the same thing over and over just to make sure these kids understand what we're doing you know um, because in school they may not necessarily be paying attention so sometimes I have to repeat myself over and over so they understand that we're not there to pay your school fees right now we are there to collect information on you you know take pictures videos have a conversation with you what your dreams are that kind of stuff is okay it's what i'm it's what i'm doing good sounds good said he wants to study law you 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 sounded very confident you know what asks you uh 10 years that was a good one you say you say you see confidence is is it's not it's something that's not easy so that's uh, even for adults uh, to answer, you know, you overcome, but he seems like you get for he shows confidence, confidence. Sometimes, you know, in order for you to really believe in yourself. So that they are very good, that you want to get confidence with. Way. Confidence comes with, uh, once again, believing you is, 
you know, you know that I your, that's your that's own that's capabilities. Right. Like, what are you? So you what you can you? What your abilities are you. within yourself? Like, you, you you understand. You have to realize it first before anyone else could realize it, because it comes okay. out of you. The way he behaves. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, the reason why I, I asked you that. Because um, my one of my uncles, she's the biggest man of your friend, and uh, he saw this. He was like. He was, he was like, yes, this is a winner. Pick yeah. this kid. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I asked these kids, so, you know, so I, I, and the questionnaires is who inspires because them, who the heroes are. Kid, and a lot um, of, because of politics in Africa is that, a big deal. Uh, he, um, he everybody office, wants to get in politics chaos, because right? he took the it's power, a way to get rich, I guess. Um, right? My take so from it is that a lot of the kids uh, wanted to be some kind that, of, you know, he's one of the other politician and, and so on and so on. Or oh, who their heroes are or who inspires them, which is okay, but it was just an interesting point of view to get. You said that your dream is to become a lawyer, right? I like the fact that everything was matching, you know, when I asked you about what you want to study in college, yeah. and then, and, you know, from down here to um, what do you want to be when you grow up and what your dream. So, that I can see how you can look for, make sure we answer the questions on the lines, you know. So, so I was really looking for how he answered and, uh, the questions. The, one of my it was very in orderly is, dream is to become a line. Good lawyer, and I want to be a righteous, truthful, obedient, perfect lawyer. I like the very the, the word righteous, you know. I like I like kids who not necessarily just want money, money, and forget about uh, the values, you know, the values in life. So when you when you write words like righteous, truthful, you know, it's a very good character. You know, they tell, tell me a lot about your character, you know, because <clears throat> you want to be a truthful and righteous person and obedient, you know. That because when you when you, when you become somebody like that, you are a help a benefit to all of society. You know, when you have a good lawyer like you in life, you're gonna help a lot of people. So that's very good. Um, but that's that. Uh, so what what do you do after school? Uh, when you get off school, do you have any any jobs, any any housework that you do? No. Do you do you study? Where do you study when you study? I study from 4.30 to 7.30. From 4.30 to 7.30. Where do you usually study? I usually study... 4.30 to 7.30. So very strict hours, okay. you know. Um, Thursday in the house here? Mainly it could be because of okay. electricity. There's no um, power and, uh, at a certain who, amount of who, who time. Who takes care so of the school fees? Just understand how he's being very specific, you know. It is, it's just very right. interesting. Okay. You know, you these know are things that are, that are not very no, uncommon, no. you know. But for, that's, for that's children okay, okay. to have um, a set you know, as, time as to study before, you know, because pay your school fees right there now. is not um, um, electricity in, future, in, in, in a lot of their um, housing. You, right? and, and I'm saying this because you know, I have brain, experienced it, you know, you so your, your uncle, these are the realities, your family, you know. So we can create a profile on you on the website, which I gave the, the card to your uncle. In the future, we're going to be visiting you, coming to see you. Um, but right now, in in, uh, in 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 three weeks, in, in in by the end of January, I have some school supplies and hygiene supplies coming that I will be bringing to your school to all the students that we've selected. I will give you some of those supplies so you can have um, just as a start, you know, as a start of what we're doing, so you can see that um, uh, uh, the foundation is trying to uh, uh, progress, you know. So you can uh, yeah, you, you you keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna take a picture with you really quick, and maybe I'll take one with you and your uncle as well, so we can get us.